Hello and welcome to Immaculate Conception Cathedral Parish and Children's Liturgy for the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time. I'm so happy you chose to be with us today. Let's begin by singing together. God blesses those who are poor, theirs is the kingdom. God blesses those who mourn, they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, they will inherit the earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus went up to the mountainside. God blesses the merciful, they will be shown mercy. God blesses whose hearts are pure, they'll see God. God blesses those who work for peace, they will be called children of God. God blesses the persecuted, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus went up to the mountainside. For singing with me. Let's pray together the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, Heavenly Teacher, show us how we ought to live. Although following Jesus may be difficult at times, and even make us unpopular, give us the confidence always to be faithful to him. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord blesses everyone who honestly trusts him. They are like trees growing beside a stream trees with roots that reach down to the water and have leaves that are always green. They always bear fruit and they don't worry about the lack of rain during the dry season. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The words of the responsorial psalm are Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. I'll sing it first, and then we can sing it together a couple of times. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. Together. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. Good. One more time. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. Well done. And, of course, the gospel acclamation we sing, Alleluia. 
Alleluia. Together, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Together, Alleluia. Before we hear the gospel today, let's take a moment, as we usually do, to get ready to be really good listeners. Did anybody have a toy like this one when they were younger? Or maybe this one? What about this one? Okay, so some of you had some of those toys, that's good. Did you like playing with them when you were little? Of course you did. Yes, you probably have some very fond memories of them. Do you play with them now? No, not really, hey? You might, if they're still in your house, pick them up and use them once, but do you get the same pleasure from it you did when you were tiny? Not really, hey? No. When you were little, you had fun playing with these kinds of toys, but it wouldn't be fun to play with them now. They might make us happy for a little while, but they don't bring lasting happiness. Jesus teaches us how to be truly happy. We're going to listen now to the gospel to hear what Jesus taught about being blessed or happy. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his apostles went down from the mountain and came to some flat level ground. Many other disciples were there to meet him. Large crowds of people from all over Judea, Jerusalem, and the coastal cities of Tyre and Sidon were there too. Jesus looked at his disciples and said, God will bless you people who are poor. His kingdom belongs to you. God will bless you hungry people you will have plenty to eat. God will bless you people who are crying. You will laugh. God will bless you when others hate you and won't have anything to do with you. God will bless you when people insult you and say cruel things about you, all because you are a follower of the Son of Man. Long ago, your own people did these same things to the prophets. So when this happens to you, be happy and jump for joy. You will have a great reward in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Were you a good listener? Oh, wonderful. I knew you would be. The people in the crowd, they were probably surprised when they heard Jesus's teaching. He said that thinking only about ourselves and having lots of things wouldn't make us truly happy. We are blessed and happy when we rely on God, who always loves us and never changes. We are blessed and happy when we make good choices and think of others living in the way that Jesus teaches us to live. You've heard me say that before, haven't you? That's true. Jesus teaches us to 
share, to be patient, and to show concern for others. These actions bring us true happiness and help us share Jesus' peace. Now here's a question. How might you share Jesus' peace when you're playing with other children or your brothers and sisters or your cousins, other friends? How might you share Jesus' peace when you're playing? Oh, those are some wonderful ideas. I heard that you would share your toys. Good. Take turns. Yes, I heard that. Be patient. If somebody's taking longer to do something, you need to wait and be patient. And wait your turn. Maybe you'll help somebody do well. You'll show them how to be successful in a game. And if somebody else wins and you don't, do you get grumpy and mad? No. You be happy for them. You give them a high five. You congratulate them. You say, way to go. You be happy for other people when they win a game. Pretty easy stuff, isn't it? That's what Jesus wants from us, to simply share. Let's pray together now the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. trust and know that God is concerned about us today just as he was in times long ago and so we pray. We pray for the leaders in our church that they may remember to be especially concerned about people who are in need. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders in our world, that they may especially look after those who are most in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are poor, hungry, sad, or hated. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for everyone we know who is having a sad time right now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. If there's anything or anybody you wish to pray for, do so now in the quiet of your heart. And for all of these, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we know that you are with us when times are easy and when times are difficult. Help us to remember that your love always surrounds us. We make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Thank you so much for joining me at Immaculate Conception Cathedral Parish for Children's Liturgy today. It's wonderful that you chose to add this liturgy to your day. This week, share Jesus. When you share with other people, you're sharing Jesus's love. I know you can do that. I know you're good sharers. Let's finish by praying together the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We'll finish as we began by singing together. Have a wonderful week and be kind to one another. God blesses those who are poor, theirs is the kingdom. God blesses those who mourn, they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, they will inherit the earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus went up to the mountainside. God blesses the merciful, they will be shown mercy. God blesses whose hearts are pure, they'll see God. God blesses those who work for peace, they will be called children of God. God blesses the persecuted, theirs is the kingdom of heaven.